Hey guys, Charai5 here. I'm here with my good friend, almost like a brother to me, Nathaniel Bandy. We um, actually are brothers. Just let everyone yes. know. <laughs> <laughs> we, we we lost each other a few years back, but we we found each other again after so many <laughs> years. It just we didn't so even know each other. Both existed. YouTube, isn't that crazy? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, okay, so obviously if you're looking at the video, uh, you know, the drawing and the title of this video, obviously, um, the Steam version of Sonic Mania came out yesterday, and Ooh. the reason we're doing this discussion until now is because I have a lot of really stupid technical, well, I wouldn't even call them technical difficulties on my part, it was more so I ordered a Switch off of Amazon like a week before Mania came out, and it never got to me. <laughs> They actually just refunded me the other day. Um, Wait, I actually you never got it at all. No, I had I bought it at Target on Sunday. I was like, Aww. I can't stand I can't stand this anymore. I need to get it already. So, Dang, so I ended up I ended up I ended up playing it just a few days before the Steam version came out. Which at that point, like, <laughs> I might as well have waited. But mm -hmm. I I wanted to get it for on the Switch for like emotional reasons. Uh, you know, whatever. <laughs> I needed an excuse get, to get the Switch anyway. And we would have done this discussion much earlier, but, mm. you know, I, I didn't have it yet. Yeah. So, we... you you also got it on the Switch too, right? Yeah, I got it the day it came out. I think it came out right at... No, it wasn't right at midnight. It came out... Um, it was later in the day. But yeah, I got it right away, and man, oh my gosh, this game <laughs> is so freaking I, good. I oh don't like it. Oh my gosh. I don't like it. You don't like it? I love it. Oh, she's going to say, like, what the heck? You're crazy. No, because, like, uh, I've been pretty busy with other stuff, so I didn't get, like, as I didn't get to play it as soon as I got the Switch, unfortunately, um, but I booted it, when I booted it up, it was, like, the first game I downloaded, um, which honestly kind of made it better for me, because it, the fact that it had a, that it didn't have a physical release meant that I could use the money that was given to me. I was like, okay, I don't feel guilty about it now. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and, and so I was I was limited to playing it at night where I couldn't, like, squeal or be excited about anything. <laughs> Dude, but like, when I started the, the first 20 minutes for me, I was just like, I just had this big smile on my face the whole time. I was like, oh my god, this is so freaking great. For me, it was beginning to end. I, like, I could not stop... You know what? And I'll I'll always say this. It was it was the boss of Chemical Plant Zone, which that one? made me the the Act Two boss. Okay, the one it, that was the one that made me just go. I love this game. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like you know what I'm talking about, right? I don't, oh yeah, I, dude, I kind of beat the game I, like I, four I, times. <laughs> <laughs> I, I actually like I, I I went out of my way to get the Chaos Emeralds yesterday because I was like mm. I need to know everything about this game before I do the discussion video. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I actually did a, a Knuckles and Knuckles run. Um, I'm not sure if you knew that was a thing, but that's a thing. And I did that. Um, and basically, the, the the thing with that is when you're doing the and Knuckles mode, if you game over. That's it. You have to start from the very beginning. But somehow, not only did I complete the game, but I also got all the Chaos Emeralds. So I got to play wow, as really? Super Knuckles and Knuckles. It was the greatest thing ever. <laughs> I have to try that out one day. You gotta uh, try it. Yeah, you'll unlock it. But yeah, oh yeah, uh, like I, I unlocked the mode because like I, I've beaten the game twice already. Um, okay. I, I tried beating it with Knuckles too, but oh, okay. I th I guess let's go bit by bit. Uh, you know what? I guess screw it. Spoilers for anyone who hasn't played the game. If you if you don't want to hear spoilers, then sorry. <laughs> but mm. I feel like you you kind of can't talk about Mania without you know giving away a lot of the core aspects of it. Um, well, it's been out for a while too now, so yeah, that's true. So yeah. like, if you if you have it on the Steam version, then you've already played the crap out of it. Fortunately, mm -hmm. what I I think one of the greatest points about it is its its price tag. Like, they easily could have made it a sixty dollar game. Oh yeah, for <laughs> like, sure. And people would have bought it anyway. Yeah, but twenty dollars is such a sweet spot for a video game, especially one that has just so much love and care put into it. Like, exactly, I made yeah. um. I made a video about how Sonic Mania was mind-blowing on my channel a few days ago, and 
I can tell you personally that at least 10, 20 people, at least according to the comment section, said that that video convinced them to buy a Sonic Mania. And I think the main reason was because of that price tag. Only $20. That's pretty yeah. awesome. Yeah, definitely. And especially because, like, like I said, they could have gotten away with 60 but at the same time, like, they knew, I feel like they knew that it had just about enough content where it's like, there's not too much, but at the same time, it, there's not too little, you know? Yeah. Like, I think it's it's the right price for, like, a game, for the game that uh, Sonic Mania was. Again, if they had charged 60 we would have bought it anyway, but, and I mean, I don't think we would have, I don't, I probably don't think we would have complained, but I think it's because of the price tag that we also, you know, think the game is, like, wow, really? Such a good game at such a low price? <laughs> Yeah, I would have paid thirty dollars for it, honestly. Maybe even forty bucks. Yeah. Because yeah, the thing same. is, like, everyone that plays that game does not only play it one time and then put it down. Everyone wants to try, you know, let's play as just Sonic, let's play as Tails, let's uh let's mm -hmm. try out the competition mode. You know, there's a lot more to do in the game besides just, you know, play it, but there's so much replayability to it and even if you're one of those people that like Blue Spears, I personally love the Blue Spear stages. I know some mm -hmm. people really have not been a big fan of those, but if you do like them, there are dozens upon dozens of those stages that you can try to complete. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, what I I think what I love the most about the game is just how huge of a love letter it is to to fans of the series. And oh, yeah. I was tr I was kind of analyzing it last night. Um, you know, after I I'd beaten the game, after getting all the Chaos Emeralds, um, and thinking to myself, like, is Mania a good game? Like, why do we love this game? Like, is it because it's a love letter, or is it because it stands on its own? And hmm. I, I do think that it stands on its own. Like, if if you've never played any of the, you know, Genesis games or any of the classic games... You'll, you can still play this game and love it. Like, it's still a good game. But I think it's more appreciated because of its predecessors. Mm hmm Like, I remember when they first announced Mania, one, uh, maybe, maybe not a selling point, but, like, they, they announced Studioopolis, uh, a new stage, and Green Hill Zone, a returning stage. Um, and I remember thinking to myself, like, this is, it looks great, but at the same time, I'm disappointed that they're bringing Green Hill Zone back because it's like we don't need that. We didn't get Green Hill Zone in Sonic Three, <laughs> like, no. and that was a great game. Well, and I think that's probably it's strange to call it a a, fall, uh, a drawback because the stages are, especially the Act Two versions of the old stages, they're created in such a way that they're completely different from their old counterparts. Mm -hmm. um, but I do think if there is a sequel to this game which I really hope there is, oh, they're probably too. going to be all brand new stages. Uh, because That's what I'm hoping. That that would be really nice. I mean, it was really nostalgic to be able to play a lot of the older stages again. Now, obviously, they're brand, they're brand new levels, and they have, you know, new types of level elements, like Chemical Plant Zone. You could bounce off of that jelly stuff. Oh, my God. Whatever it is. When that, I, when the I coolest first thing saw ever. that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, like, this yeah. is a amazing. <laughs> Mm. I mean that, that's that's the great thing that I think that's why people are liking Sonic Mania so much is just the sheer attention to detail with everything I mean even just look at Sonic like just watch him crouch watch him look up watch him slow down there's like mm -hmm. a thousand frames of animation and it's just wonderful to look at oh yeah it's 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 certainly a delight to look at and one of the coolest things like one of the first things I saw when I booted up the game because I didn't go into you know playing it immediately like I went into the options I went into like because there was an there was an extras tab right away hmm. and I was like oh I wonder what's here well, there was not really much there when you first start the game but um in the options menu one of the things that I noticed was you could change the screen quality like you can make it look like a CRT screen yeah that's really cool and w while I didn't do it I was like that is that is really nice that they gave you the option because mm -hmm. that's that's how a lot of us played the game back in the day yeah, there, I think there's two different CRT options. Yeah, one that's so, like a little bit more clean, one that's like a little dirtier. <laughs> yeah, like they didn't have to go that far out of their way but to do that, but that's that's really cool they did. Yeah. Um, going back to the subject of like the uh, 
the callback stages, there are eight. <laughs> there are eight callback stages. Like that mm-hmm. to to me that's something that's not it's not terrible, but at the same time I kinda wish that they had more um more original stages because there are only four. <laughs> It, really, I wonder if, if you, that was under their control. I feel like, I mean, obviously, I'm just making guesses, but I feel like Sega might have, you know, kind of convinced them to kind of go. You know, I'm kind of thinking that this whole game started off as just older stages, but as it's the progress of the game started to continue on, then they were allowed to make more brand new stages. So maybe, maybe that's why there's so many old ones. Uh, I'm not really yeah. sure, though. What I loved about the call, like, because going back to what I said earlier about, like, me not being on board with, with them abusing nostalgia, like, for example, with Green Hill Zone, something I wasn't accounting for um, was the fact that they'd, not only would they bring these stages back, but they'd remix them with other stages. So, yeah. like, you can see, el- you can see elements of, you can see elements of, I'm trying to think of another example. I remember um, one. Um, in Starlight Speedway, remember in uh, Sonic 3, those little yes, rolly wheel zone. things? Uh-huh. Yeah, that was so cool to randomly see that. Like, there's like if you've played all the classic Sonic games, you'll see so many little things that they threw into all the stages. And it's something, like, again, you know, they've paid a lot of attention to detail. Like, these guys clearly care about the Sonic franchise. Uh, just just by looking at the levels, like there's so many little things that they just kind of threw in there, and then I didn't just throw them in there. It works with the level, which is just awesome. Yeah, yeah. But something that I was thinking to myself while I was playing the game was, this is the best Sonic fan game ever. Because I mean, yes, it is an official game. I know, like, stop typing in the comments. I know that it's an official <laughs> Sonic game. Shut up. But what I mean is, like, it was it was made by the fans. You know, it it, it was a game almost entirely made by fans that mm-hmm. grew up with the classic games. And so like it or not, it I we can consider it a fan game despite the fact that it is an official, you know, published by Sega game. Um built from the ground up no less. Um and okay, so let's see. We have Green Hill Zone which um great, you know, I I love how fast you go. I love the elements of Emerald Hill, although there are a few. Um, mm-hmm. Something something that I loved about the game as well was that... You know how you had the mini-bosses in Sonic 3? Yeah. They didn't, yeah, they, they had mini-bosses. Yeah, they didn't, ha- they didn't make much of an impact, though, I think, in Sonic 3. Because they were, like, mm. kind of easy. And, yeah, they're memorable, but they didn't do much. In Sonic Mania, every stage has a mini-boss. Like, every stage has a boss at the end of the level to fight. Mm-hmm. And I think they're all great. They're all like super memorable bosses. Yeah, definitely. I, I the bosses are a little bit on the easy side, uh, but mm-hmm. it doesn't really matter if they're that easy. All of them are really fun to play, and they're all brand new too. There's no, um, I mean, outside of like Death Egg Robot, the design is kind of the same for that, but it, you know, you don't really fight it the same way. Yeah, um, exactly. so <laughs> like I remember when. They they released maybe not a trailer but it was like a gameplay demo of that boss, hmm. and I was like, oh great, it's it's Death Egg Robot again. But like when I saw what it was, I was like, oh wow, actually, <laughs> yeah, it's that's quite pretty different. Because cool, it, yeah, it's really different, um, despite the fact that it's not like super hard as it was in Sonic Two, but <laughs> it mm-hmm. still looks really cool. And okay, after Chemical after Green Hill Zone, we have Chemical Plant returning from Sonic Two. Um, Act one, Act one, I don't think is. It's not much to write home about, but it combines, I think, Act 1 and Act 2 from Sonic 2 Yeah, into that's one I, big act. I think Green Hill Zone kind of did the same thing, because I saw elements of Act 1, 2, and 3 in Sonic Mania's Act 1 stage. Mm-hmm. Like, I saw little pieces of all of that. Uh, and Chemi- Chemical Plant Zone kind of did the same thing, too. Yeah, because Act 2 was like, this is pretty much all new <laughs> like yeah. the, the way you traverse through the pipes the you know the jelly thing the injectors mm-hmm. and the, o- the o- fact that the fact that what like, the fact that they like included some enemies from other games like um some of the like caterpillar things from sonic 3 yes they put those in the chemical plant zone because it's like wow actually i never thought of that they fit perfectly in this stage mm-hmm. um and then the boss. <laughs> The mean bean machine boss. 
oh my gosh, I'm so glad I didn't get spoiled from that. Because I was just Me like, <laughs> what the hell is going on? Why am I playing <laughs> R- Mean Bean Machine right now? It was the, like the greatest moment ever. Yeah, like what, when I fell into that, like I remember thinking like, oh man, this is really cool. Like when I when I was bouncing on the on the jelly stuff. And then when I fell into that, I was like, wait, what the hell's going on? <laughs> and then like <laughs> the, the beans just started falling. I was like, I love this game. <laughs> this is the best game Oh, it's so great. Um, Man, wouldn't it have been okay. funny if they also had like a Sonic Spinball boss as well? That's exa- that would have been so after, great. After that, that's exactly <laughs> what I was thinking. Like the only thing they need to reference now is Spinball. Exactly. And yeah. They they kind of did, from what I understand, in one of the stages. I don't remember exactly which one. But after that, we have. Uh, what do we have after that? Well, there's Studioopolis. That was the first new Studio-opolis. stage. Studioopolis. Yeah. That's the, that the is first... hands down my favorite stage. I mean, that it stage is... has my favorite music. Yeah, greatest music. I mean, you know, just the great thing about all these new stages is that if, you're, if you've never played the old Sonic games, you wouldn't be able to tell which stages are old and which ones are new. That is how mm-hmm. awesome these new stages are. They blend in perfectly with the old school stages. That, Definitely. How they pulled that off, I have no idea, but that's really impressive. Like just, I remember fr- from the first trailer I saw um, Studioopolis, and I thought to myself, like, this looks really, really cool. Like, it's giving off some major Sonic CD vibes because of how saturated with color it is. Like, it, it yeah. is super colorful, but I love the theming of it. You know, like, it, and you can tell, like, the, with the theming of the new stages, they brought in while they're super unique, they brought in elements of other stages. Like when I play Studioopolis, I think this is. A combination of Casino Night Zone with um, Starlight Zone from hmm. Sonic. No, Spring Yard Zone. Sorry, from Sonic. Yeah, 1. Spring Yard. Yep. Yeah, like they have like similar elements. Nothing that I'd say that they copied, but like you can. Get They're the inspired by them. for sure. Yeah. And that one, what bosses did Studioopolis have? The Studioopolis. Weather... I don't remember the Act One boss, but the Act Two boss is where you're running across the road. And there's the hard-boiled heavies in the background. They're throwing the missiles at you. That that that's the Act One boss. Yeah. Oh that's right, the that's Act the Act One, one boss. boss. Okay. The Act Two boss is way less memorable because, well, at least with Sonic, because Sonic can jump high enough to hit Eggman every time. Um, oh, the Act Two boss weather. is the weather one. That one's actually pretty cool. Ooh. It is really cool. Um, I didn't get to experience it with Sonic and Tails, but I got to experience it with Knuckles because he can't jump high enough to hit him. Oh yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, but it it was a really interesting concept, you know, like him throwing thunder at you and the wind and the only and the way you rain. Can, you're yeah, su- you're not, the only way you're supposed to hit him is when like the sun comes up and you're supposed to shield yourself from it. Mm-hmm. After that, we have I think is is it Stardust Speedway? Uh, I don't remember. I th- well, okay, whichever one it is, uh, Stardust Speedway was what I liked about that one was that it, it combined. Um, act one because obviously in Sonic CD, like you can go to the past and the future, you know, mm-hmm. within the levels themselves within the acts. What so- what Mania did was, Act One is um, the past. Act Two is was the, the future. future. Yeah, yeah, um, that was really nice that they they didn't even have to do that, but the fact that they even referenced that and they even mm-hmm. showed the little clip of him going from the past to the future while the game was loading. Yeah, oh, <laughs> that was it really was perfect. Cool. And like they, the they got the level design just so so well from from CD, you know, like oh yeah, it felt like a CD is, level where you're just yeah, all really over the did. place. I gotta say though, uh, I like the first part of the Metal Sonic boss more than the last part because I'm mm. positive you cannot lose to the uh, the second phase because if yeah. you get hit by Metal Sonic or the spike wall, the rings follow you. Mm-hmm. So there's no reason to ever lose to that part of the boss. But, like, the part where you have to hit the uh, the little robot that's spinning back. Mm-hmm. Like, the, uh, that I thought was a really cool idea. Yeah, do you, did you figure out the easy way to do that part? What is that? Basically, um, when the little silver robot lands on the ground, just spin dash to it, it'll bounce off perfectly to hit him. Every time. Yes, yes. I, okay. I, 
Except when it starts speeding up, <laughs> I notice because yeah. like, I try to do the same thing and then like it just overshoots him. I'm like, oh great. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um. Then after that, press garden zone. Oh, press garden zone! Game. Another new stage. Probably my favorite. Like it, it beats Pseudopolis just by like the smallest of margins to mm -hmm. me. It's like. It's such a pretty snow themed level because like act one is a bit more organic. Mm -hmm. It's more like, oh, green and like plants a little bit, kind of. Like and you're inside a building, and then act two is just like, hey, it's it's plants mixed with snow and it's very like cherry blossom, very Japanese, and I I I, I love the aesthetic. And it has my it's my favorite hard boiled heavy, for sure. Oh yeah. Like that was probably the so hardest simple. one for me. Really? I, th I thought it was so simple, but, like, it's so cool at the same time. Like, oh, all he's yeah. doing is freezing me, and I have to hit him at the right time. And he's throwing the... the... In Metropolis. Yeah. yeah, that's where... Yeah, and again, another reference to the older games. Um, I was having a lot of trouble with that boss, just because I was always getting hit by those star things. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, maybe I'm just really <laughs> bad at the game, but I was personally having a lot of trouble with that. It it was a I think all all the hard boiled heavies are are great. Mm. Um, after that, uh, I guess we should get Mirage Saloon out of the way too. Consider it. it's not I don't think it's the next stage, but it's it's you know the other new stage in it, mm -hmm. and it was one of the ones that was revealed as well to us, and it was inspired on actually two separate um, scrapped levels. Um, yeah, yeah. One from Sonic 2, the other from the iOS port of Sonic CD, I think. And they were like both... When you see it, you immediately think Sandopolis from Sonic 3. Um, Except it's a lot better. Case. It's way better. It's not the case <laughs> at all. Like, the theming is so cool. It's really fun to play through. Um, and... Oh, God. The, the, the references to those three characters. Oh, yeah. I cannot believe that they included um, freaking... Uh, I can't remember the names exactly. I know there's Bean the Dynamite, uh, Espio, and Bean the Polar Bear. I believe those are the three names of the characters. Uh, it, it's Bark the Polar Bear, Bark. Bean the Dynamite, okay. and the other one, I call him Fang no, the Sniper. No, Fang. But, That's right. Fang the Sniper. Okay. But he he has like another name that I don't remember what it is. Okay. Uh, but like to, to see them reference in the, in the game, I was like, this is really cool. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty insane. I was not expecting that in the slightest. Like, like I'm, I'm pretty sure they were kind of trying to reference Knuckles and Chaotix, and I think that's why those characters were in there. But, man, mm. it was just, it was so weird and just so cool to see them. Yeah, for sure. Speaking of uh, Knuckles Chaotix, they brought back uh, a concept from that game, which was the blue ring box. Oh, um, that came from Knuckles Chaotix. I didn't know that. Yeah. However, it, it, it worked differently in Knuckles Chaotix, because I don't remember what they did in Chaotix. They they made you... Because, like, you had a partner system in that game, so they made you, like, come together or something like that. Mm -hmm. In in Mania, I I could not for the life of me find out what... If, at first, I didn't know what they did. I was just like, what? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm at the end of the stage, and I have it... What's different? I don't. I don't get it. Do they do? Do these unlock the special stages? What do they do? Well, what it turns out that what they do is um, they like join your rings together. So if you get hit, um, your rings don't scatter, but they come out as like huge rings you can collect again. Yes, yeah, so you don't lose them all. Yeah. Well, so well, you you could still lose them all, but it's less likely you'll lose everyone. Yeah, like you can collect them again, like. It's never been easier to get, like, a hundred rings again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. And those big-ass rings. Uh, and speaking of big-ass rings, the special stages. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Finally, finally, we have good special stages. You think? Like, I can't remember the last time there's actually been a solid special stage. Well, what about Blue Sphere? I thought you liked Blue Sphere. Okay, I, like, I liked Blue Sphere in Sonic 3. But outside of that, like, I did not like Sonic 1s, I did not like Sonic 2s, um, did not like Sonic Heroes, did not like, <laughs> wasn't a fan of Sonic CDs. I don't know, I can't think of any other special stage that I've actually really enjoyed outside of Sonic Manias. 
uh, I guess that that brings us to Hydrocitism from Sonic 3. Um, oh, yes. They picked the best <laughs> water level in any game, in any video game, period. Mm. Um, it was fun, and because of its level design, it was where I found my first special stage ring. Mm -hmm. I, like, the entire, like, that's, Hydrocity is, like, in the, smack dab in the middle of the game. Mm -hmm. Um, and I, I hadn't found a single special ring yet. Uh, I saw one in Studioopolis, but because it's 3D, I assumed it was part of the background. Oh, yeah, not quite. Yeah, I was like, oh, that's a background element. And then I, I, I went to the place where you'll find a special ring in Sonic 3, and there was, an, and there was one there. I was like, wait, oh, that's what these are. Um, so what is it you like about the special stages? I, I just really like how much fun they are. Like, outside of Blue Spears, I've found, like, basically every other Sonic stage just isn't very fun to control. Uh, mm -hmm. but with Sonic Mania, you know, the controls are a tad bit slippery, but you can tell they're doing that on purpose, uh, to kind of bring a little bit of challenge to the special stage itself. And, you know, just the idea... Uh, you know, having to collect the orbs to go faster, and the rings are used to to, um, to add time to your had time to try to grab the chaos emerald. I think combining both of those things while also avoiding the spikes and having to make jumps and stuff makes for just a really really fun type of special stage. I I just wish there were more of them because there's only seven. Uh, I've already mastered all seven of those stages, <laughs> so I wish there were more of those in the blue spear stages, quite frankly. But I don't know, I just think the biggest reason is because it's actually controllable. I <laughs> right. Yeah, I, when I've... I, because I didn't spoil it for myself. Like, I remember the uh, the bonus stage and the special stage uh, trailer came out, and I decided not mm. to watch it. Like, I, I knew, like, oh, okay, Blue Sphere's back, cool, whatever. Um, I like Blue Sphere, but, like, I, I wasn't going to be super excited about it because I heard that it was just going to be a bonus stage. It wasn't going to be the special stage. Yeah. Um... And I heard that the UFO thing from Sonic CD came back. And to me, like, CD is worse than Sonic 2 stages, in my opinion. <laughs> like, I, I mm -hmm. dislike it more because it's just... Um, so I, I wasn't all too thrilled when I found out that those were, that it was going to be that kind of special stage. So I was like, okay, well, whatever. And then when I first went into it, I was like, wow, actually, this is really... As a concept, it's really interesting. And on top of that, it's a reference to Sega Saturn Sonic. It's the same kind of model. Uh huh. I, I was actually I was about to ask you. Like, did you notice that the model was um, it was modeled after the Sonic R? <laughs> yep. I was like, Modeling oh it. yes, Sonic R, baby. <laughs> Where's my Sweet. Tails doll? I want to unlock <laughs> Tails doll. And, and like, the, they're um, what I like about them uh, is the challenge. You know, like they're not easy, but they're not impossible. Mm -hmm. I think it's right in the middle of like, it's it's good to the point where I want to try it again, but not to the point where I don't want to try it at all. Yeah, it's not really frustrating. It's all about like it. That's another thing I love about just this game in general. If you're doing poorly, it's not the game's fault. It's your fault for not being good that's enough. You a, have to that's practice. That's exactly what I kept saying to myself yesterday. I was like, that's what I love about this game. It at no point does it ever feel like it's your fault. At, like. Rather, at no point does it ever feel like it's the game's fault. Hmm. Yeah, there's really nothing that's, like, too cheap in this game. There there are uh, a few bottomless pits, like in Flying Battery Zone, mm -hmm. but oh, outside of that, <laughs> outside of that, like, the rest of the challenge is completely fair, I would say. Yes, yes. Speaking of Flying Battery Zone, that was a, a combination... I wasn't actually too excited when they announced that that one was returning. Um, yeah, after playing that... I just recently played through that stage in Sonic and Knuckles... And uh, I did not like that stage in that game. It's a lot better in Sonic Mania, though. Yeah, that's for sure. Like, it, it, it's not a bad stage. It's just like I don't know. <laughs> mm. Um, and and they combined elements of Wing Fortress Zone from Sonic Two. With yeah. Because you could actually go outside the blimp now, <laughs> which was mm -hmm. really cool. Like, yeah, that was really it was neat. It, it was constantly taking you inside and outside. That was really awesome. Yeah. Oh, speaking of speaking of that, like th that's the stage that comes after Studiopolis. I just remembered. Because yes. Because <laughs> Stu Studiopolis was where I actually had my first uh, soft lock. <laughs> oh, you had a soft lock, really? Yeah. After I beat the after I beat the boss, and I was about to go to um, 
the flying battery, Tails and Sonic did their victory animation at like the very right side of the screen because that's where I landed. Mm-hmm. And it wouldn't allow the animation to, to start. <laughs> they were oh, just stuck no. there. So I was like, oh, great, I have to restart. Fortunately, I didn't lose any progress, but like that was the one bug I encountered the entire game. I was like, oh, huh. okay. <laughs> yeah, I've heard there's been a couple of bugs, but... I don't know. I haven't. I haven't ran into a single bug personally. Yeah, no. That was the only one I ran into. Yeah. Um. After that, we have. Oh God. What? I'm talking oil about oil ocean. ocean. Oil ocean. I hated that stage when I first played through Sonic Mania. It was very, very mm-hmm. frustrating. Mm-hmm. It's just so freaking difficult, especially when you get to Act Two, and then. You know, there's all the smoke in the air, and, like, if it's in the air for too long, you start losing rings out of nowhere. You're like, what the heck do I do? But... I combined my two least favorite stages from Sonic 2 and 3. Yeah. (laughs) Oil Ocean and Sandopolis. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. But the thing is, once you do play it, like, on... Once you play it like the second time through, it's not nearly as difficult. But the first time, uh, yeah. I I was not the biggest fan of it. It's probably my least favorite stage out of all of them in the game. Mm, we'll get to that <laughs> for me. Um, but yeah, like what I found, it was the first time I actually encountered like the the shield differences. Yeah, like, the, the, the shields return uh, from Sonic Three and. You get the fire shield in Oil Ocean, mm-hmm. and, and the answer is finally like we finally get the answer to what would happen if like fire fell into it. Well, it wouldn't explode, but <laughs> the oil does catch on fire, and it's so cool to see that. Mm-hmm. Like it, it blew my mind when I first like slid down like the oil slide, and then the fire was just falling. I was like, whoa. Yeah, I first That's discovered really that in cool. Green Hill Zone because if you run across the bridges in the fire shield, the bridges catch on fire bridges, instantaneously. Yeah. I, for, I forgot about that until I saw, like, a clip of that yesterday. I was like, oh, my God, that's right. Like, I of course. That. that makes so much sense. Like, it, the, like you said, the attention to detail is just amazing. Um, and then we have Lava Reef returning from Sonic 3, my, one of my favorite stages. It has my favorite music in Sonic 3. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, another level pretty... design-wise, what's that? I was going to say, it's, just, it's another pretty solid stage. There's nothing too memorable. Mm-hmm. About that one, I can't even remember what the bosses were right off the top of my head. Uh, one of them was like the drill boss that needed to like um, drill That's into the right. ground, and then the lava rises and hurts it. Yeah, and they brought that back from Sonic Three, I think. Yeah, what's this? What's the Act Two boss? I'm trying to remember. Uh, yeah, I can't remember. <laughs> it must have been a hard boiled heavy because I don't remember right now. Mm-hmm. Or was it? Was it? Eggman? I don't remember. Um, but yeah, like. It was, level design-wise, it was different from Sonic 3, but it was nothing that stood out too much. Because, like, it, it mm. followed the same the same aesthetic of Act 1 is, like, lava, Act 2 is, like, more crystallized. You know? Yeah. Yeah. So, so it was the same thing. It was just, like, everything was, was remixed. Mm-hmm. It was it was the least like its original counterpart, I think. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Uh, and then after that, we have Metallic Madness from Sonic CD. I think that that's the last new, um, last brand new stage. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, no, so. actually, that's from Sonic CD. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's from Sonic CD. It's the last act that's brand new, I think. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it, it combines elements from the original Sonic CD, and it combines them with uh, Scrap Brain from, from Sonic 1. Mm-hmm. And to me, it's like, oh, well, you, like, this is, this feels kind of like getting somewhere, you know, we're getting to the end. Um, and I, I liked what they did with that. I think one of my favorite parts from the, bo- from that stage was the Eggman boss, where it's like, it's a little um, slot machine kind of, well, it wasn't really a slot machine, but like, a, uh, like, you have to fight him as, as Tiny Sonic. Yeah, that was so great. Little Sonic is so adorable. I love <laughs> yeah, it. Really is. And, and um, it's also really great that they that you also you're fighting off the little baby Amy as well, and she, yeah. she's so <laughs> scary looking. Like, what the heck? That was that was so funny to me because like <laughs> when I got the game, I was like, you know what? I never thought about it, but they're bringing back everyone. Where's Amy? And then like when <laughs> when the Amy doll came out, I was like, oh my like, god, oh god. <laughs> 
made her so scary. But oh my gosh, th- those characters are so adorable when they're that tiny. Yeah. It's so great. So, and what I liked about it was like it, it was a reference to so many. Th- it was a reference, I think, to all three games. Like no, all four games because the sl- the the little like turn machine, the little slot thing that you have to turn for the mm-hmm. for the things to come out. I think that's a reference to the bonus ages in Sonic Three. Really? Huh. Uh, yeah. And one of the Eggmans that come out is the boss from Marble Zone in Sonic One. Yep. One of them is uh, the other one is a boss from the first boss from Sonic Two. And then Amy is just from Sonic CD. It's like, wow, you referenced all four games in one boss. <laughs> that yeah, that's pretty insane. And then finally, probably my least favorite stage, Titanic Monarch Zone. Yeah, yeah. Holy I will crap. say this: the stage is definitely a little lengthy. Um, you know, they did a good job. I think kind of. Um, I wouldn't know if I wouldn't say if this is a reference or not, but. I know a lot of the, like the final Sonic and Knuckles stages feel extremely long, and Titanic Monarch mm-hmm. definitely feels like one of those super long stages. Yeah, it pl- it's so hard to navigate because you never like where do I go? <laughs> yeah, it's it's really confusing. I've I've played through it, you know, like I said, like four times, and every single time, it's been different. Now, like for Act, if when I first played Act Two of that stage, I did not understand. Like I just kept teleporting <laughs> all over the place. But what 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 you're actually doing is you're kind of completing like certain areas. There's four or five different areas you have to get through, and then uh-huh. you go on to the final boss. I didn't understand that the first time. I was like, "What the heck is going on?" Yeah, me neither. I was like, "It's bringing me back. What what am I doing wrong?" <laughs> yeah, I th- thought I was doing something wrong, but we're not doing anything wrong. I mean, if anything, you're doing the right thing. Yeah. So because like then the portal opens at the end and it takes you to the to the <clears throat> final quote unquote boss. Mm-hmm. Which, Depending on if you got all the Chaos Emeralds or not. Yes, yes. Which I didn't the first time around because I didn't know where the special uh, stage rings were. So, mm-hmm. the, the final boss, I think, it is definitely, I think, the most difficult in, in the whole game. Oh, yeah, for sure. Because, like, it, it requires a lot of waiting, it requires, like, dodging and all that stuff, and if you lose the rings, it's going to be hard oh, to get them back. That's it, yeah. <laughs> um, But then you have... If you did collect all seven Chaos Emeralds, um, you get to the in, I guess, to say in proper Sonic fashion, because they've been doing it since Sonic 3 and Knuckles, a final boss. Mm hmm. Like a final, final boss, which, what did you think of the boss? I mean, I thought it was pretty cool. I mean, actually, to be honest, I have never completed a Sonic game outside of Sonic Mania. While getting all the Chaos Emeralds. I had never done that before until Sonic Mania. So now I want to go back and try all of the other bosses to see kind of like, in comparison, like, what is the Mania uh, good ending boss like compared to uh, the older games? Because I don't really know. I'm guessing you know, but I don't have much knowledge in that. Uh, Sonic 1 and Sonic 2, there's no difference as far as I know. Uh, Because in Sonic 1, you can't be Super Sonic. There are only six in one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, in Sonic 2, I'm almost certain nothing changes, especially since you kind of can't be Super Sonic in Sonic 2. Well, at you know, in the ending, because there, there are no rings. I don't know if, like, once you collect them all, you automatically become Super Sonic during that fight. I don't know. Hmm. I would assume not, though, because it would make it too easy. Um, in Sonic 3, though, there is... Uh, and you played it during a stream. Uh, there was yeah. the the last boss that's only unlockable once you become Super Sonic. Yeah, that last boss was really cool. It, it really <laughs> reminded... It was actually pretty similar to the one in Sonic Mania, now that I'm thinking about it. A little bit, yeah. Oh, kind um, of. It, what I liked about the one in Mania was that like you had more, um, more things to look out for, because really the only thing in 3 was that you were losing ranks constantly, and you were being knocked back. But other than that, like, nothing. All you had to do yeah. was catch up. Here, it's like the boss can actually hurt you. <laughs> like, he can actually mm-hmm. take ranks from you. And there's an ability, which I never found a use for it, honestly, but if you if you accidentally hit A while in midair, you actually do, like, a super attack, but it drains, like, ten rings. And I was like, oh, God, oh. I don't want to do that anymore. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you do get rings during the final boss. Well, the good ending final boss, but it's not a lot of rings. It's really just yeah, to kind no. of keep you afloat. And you have to, like, fight two different things. Like, you have to fight Eggman and his hard-boiled heavy. Yeah, exactly. It's like, oh, God. <laughs> and they're mm. not easy to hit, because they're always, like, 
hitting you back. It's, it's really it's the hard boiled heavy you. that's the hardest. I didn't have a problem yes. with Robotnik. Uh, hitting him was kind of hard near the end, but man, like his missiles hit you every <laughs> single time. I could not figure out how to avoid them. <laughs> it was so difficult. It, but it was like I think it like aesthetically it looked really cool. I kind of wish that they had done a bit more with it. Um, but you know what it was, I think was fine. Hmm. My one, I think my major gripe with the game is the ending. Yeah, at least it, the bad ending. I think either one, honestly, because like uh, I was expecting the good ending to be to have a little bit more, but it, to me, it has the same problem that Sonic CD had. It just ends, you know. Yeah, like Sonic, yeah. Sonic, it felt really abrupt. Yeah, like Sonic one and Sonic one, two, and three, like they all have pretty satisfactory endings. It's like, oh, cool, like we we got to this point in the game, and the cutscenes that play out, or you know, you get the feeling we beat it. Something good was done. Mm-hmm. In CD and Mania, it just it, yeah, you beat it, and you get to see like a little cutscene. Is in fact they're animated, but it just kind of feels like it ends. <laughs> Like, hmm. It's not all too fulfilling. I, I feel like maybe because it's I maybe because I wanted more. I don't know what it is. It, it just felt like, yeah, you're done. <laughs> hmm. Congrats. <laughs> I think the best ending is when you play through with Knuckles and Knuckles, because <laughs> um, for anyone that hasn't done that, uh, basically you get this picture of Knuckles reading a book, and the book says. You can't read it all because Knuckles, like, is covering some of the book title, but it says Sonic Mania in Knuckles on the book title. Are you serious? Oh, I need to do that now. <laughs> you have to do it. I think you have to get all the Chaos Emeralds to get that ending. I'm not positive, but I think you do. But it is so worth it. It is oh hilarious. That was the best ending to a game ever. <laughs> so they have di- so the different characters have different endings. That That's amazing. Yeah. At least the Knuckles and Knuckles ending did. Okay, so for for anyone that's not in the know, I guess, um, yeah, obviously, being a, a more modern game with a classic style, obviously you can save the way you did in Sonic. And, you know, it's the same thing. Like, you can choose between Sonic and Tails, Tails, Sonic, and Knuckles. You know, like, mm. every character by themselves and Sonic and Tails. Um, and you might be wondering, like, what the hell is this Knuckles and Knuckles mode? Um, so after you complete a certain number of stages, I don't know exactly how many or which one, uh, you unlock different things, and one of them, uh, you unlock three different things, I think. Yeah, there's three different things, yeah. The end Knuckles mode, the, uh, extra move for Sonic, which can either be the insta-shield from Sonic 3, or the super peel-out from Sonic CD, which, why would you like that? (laughs) Um, and and they replace the, uh, the drop dash, I think. Yes. Which is Sonic's new ability, which... I mean, I'm, I don't. I didn't really care for it. I didn't use it all that much. Um, and there's and a debug the mode thing? too. The the debug mode, yes, yes. Um, which is which are pretty much all references to older games. Yep. And you were the one that told me about the end knuckles mode. <laughs> you were so excited to tell me about it. It's like, dude, oh there's my a gosh, knuck- there's an end knuckles mode. <laughs> it's just it's so funny that they that Sega has embraced. The fact that there's such a meme that they're putting it in their <laughs> games. I mean, Sonic Forces has OC characters. Sonic Mania has and Knuckles mode. Like this is amazing. Like yeah. I, I wish more <laughs> companies would do this. It's great. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The, unfortunately, to play these modes, you can't save. Yeah, that's the ch- that's the challenge. Like when I played through Knuckles and Knuckles mode, I'm like, oh crap, I can't die at all. But yeah. I mean, if you get good enough at the game, like I had. Um, with, I'm, I'm guessing you're probably everyone that plays this, you know, again, it's going to play through it a few times when you try knuckles and knuckles, you'll probably be okay. Um, but again, it would be nice if you could save with those modes, but right. I think the main reason why they, why they try to, I, I blame it on debug mode, honestly. Like, I think that's the main reason why they decided to make it, um, not yeah. savable because it's like, oh, well you're cheating, <laughs> mm. you know? That, that, that might have been why, I don't know, but like, and, and Knuckles mode lets you, uh, it, pretty, it pretty much puts Knuckles in Tails' spot as like the second playable character, so like you can play as Sonic and Knuckles, Tails or and Tails Knuckles. Or Tails and Knuckles, or Knuckles and, and Knuckles. And, and the, the best one, Knuckles and Knuckles, which yep. is... 
Now, if you get the bad ending with Knuckles oh, and Knuckles, so there's actually, you, at the very end, you see Knuckles driving, um, it's something like, so Knuckles, at, like at the very ending, um, with the bad ending, basically, Knuckles has like some car or something, and he's taking Knuckles and Knuckles out, so then there's three Knuckles on the, on the, the screen are at you, once, at the serious? end. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Oh, I need to play the game again. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, it's so... I love Mania. It's such a good game. It's so... It, just just get it. And, like, there are so many blue blue sphere stages, and there's kind of an incentive to to perfect them all this time around. Because mm -hmm. you get, like, gold medal. Like, if, if you beat it by itself, like, if you don't get all the rings, you get a silver medal. If you if you get uh, if you beat the stage perfectly, you get a gold medal. What they do, it's pretty much bragging rights. Like, there's nothing really to it, but... Not true. You actually do unlock stuff. Oh, you do unlock stuff if you get all the gold medals. Yeah, I won't spoil it since you haven't gotten that far, but in the extras menu, um, you can unlock additional game modes. Um, they're just small mm -hmm. little things, but if you get, like, a bunch of silver medals or a bunch of gold medals, then you do end up unlocking things, which is which is really cool. Because I, I did unlock the, uh, the Mean Bean game. Yep, and... there's more to unlock. You just have to get more medals, basically. Okay, because I think I'm only missing three medals, but, like... About 80% of the ones I have are gold. <laughs> you have 80% so like, gold medals? Holy crap. Yes. Oh my god. Dang. It's, it's, it wasn't It wasn't easy. <laughs> but I was like, I'm not beating this normally. I need to get all the rings. <laughs> I know. I, I haven't golded myself. everything yet. I only have like 40% of them golded, probably. No, I'm not very good at them, but they're just so much fun. They are so fun. And like, to me, they were the most infuriating part of the game. Because it's like, you want to do them right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. Like you, you want to beat them, and like when you don't, it's just so like, let me do it again. Fortunately, <laughs> it, it's really easy to to go back and do them again because I think you need like twenty five rings and then just get to a to a checkpoint. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty That's simple. All you need to do. Hmm. Oh man, it is a great game. <laughs> I didn't it expect is. it to be as great as it was. Well, we've been talking about it for 45 minutes. That's how good it Indeed. is. Yeah, that's how good it is. <laughs> like, we, we've had to explain everything in detail, like, everything we liked about it. Um, and really, there's not much... I, I feel like there's not much to say as to what I don't like about it. I mean, really, the only kind of upsetting thing, like, the only major upsetting thing is that there's so many um, callback stages. Which, you know, hopefully, for, again, for the sequel, hopefully they're all brand new. But even the older stages, you know, they, they do something brand new with every single one of them. So it's really not even that big of a, of, uh, a problem to me. Yeah, and, like, that's exactly what I was thinking, too. I was like, I, I wish I could say that the, that the callback stages are a bad thing. But at the same time, it's like, they're not just recycling them. They're adding new things to them, too. Which, yeah. I mean in and of itself, I guess, could be considered a new stage, even just like with old elements. And you're right, like, if and when, which, please, please, Christian Whitehead, please <laughs> go back to Sega and tell them to, to let you do it again. Yes, yeah, um, please. Uh, when they make a sequel, I do genuinely hope that they're all new stages, because these people have proven that they know how to make a good Sonic game. Hmm. Well, let me ask like, you this. Now that you've played through Sonic Mania, are you still excited for Sonic Forces? Yeah. I mean... I, you know what? Less so than Mania. Like, I, I yeah. think I was a little bit more excited for Mania than I was Forces, just because I was like, okay, well, it's going to be classic Sonic again. But, and I will I'll say this again, because I know everyone in the comments is going to be like, oh, whatever... I I didn't I never disliked the concept of either. I never did, and I always I never said that they were gonna be bad games. I always knew from the get go, Forces and Mania are gonna be good. And the reason why I know this is because they're reusing concepts that we know worked. Like Mania brought back the classic, um, the classic style of gameplay, which we know like no one dislikes the classic style. I don't know anyone who doesn't like the classic Sonic games. They're all good. All four of them. Mm -hmm. I don't count Sonic 4 because, no. <laughs> um, they, they all play great. Despite how many rehashes you bring in, it's still going to be a good game because people loved it. When it comes to forces, who disliked Generations? 
Like, not a lot of people. It's just, I don't, for me personally, um, I think it's going to be really hard for Sonic Forces to top Sonic Mania. I just don't think it's going to be as good. There's no way. True. Yeah. I mean, I like, I know it's going to be a good game because, like I said, no one really disliked Generations. And it wasn't just because they were all yeah. callbacks. It was because it played well. You know, the boost formula was fun. The classic Sonic, while not having the same physics, it was fun. Mm -hmm. What you could do was fun. And, you know, adding the OC character, I think, adds a little level of fun. Because it's like, okay, now I can customize them and make them look whatever I want. And, you know, all this. And it's catering to to people who grew up with it and who made their own fan characters and, you know, all that. And I'm looking forward to it. Do I think it'll beat Mania? No, but I hope that it gives it a run for its money, which it probably won't, but that doesn't mean I think it's going to be a bad game. Yeah, I don't excited. think it's going to be a bad game either, but it's just after playing Mania, my, my Hyper Forces has definitely dwindled a little bit. A little bit, yeah. But I mean, even, even so, not that much, because I don't think you can really compare the two. Like, yeah, they're completely different games. Yeah. Um, again, I think the, the reason our hype has you know gone down a little bit is because we already know that this was so good, we can't imagine anything else being better than it. Mm-hmm. So like we, but you can't expect that, you know. You can't expect something that is more three D to beat something that's two D. They're not the same. Even if Classic Sonic is, you know, like I don't think he's the meat of the story, <laughs> or he's not yeah. the meat of the game, because there's there's more to it. But you know, I'm still excited for it. I hope that it is better than I expect it to be. That I will say. But yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Um. I, so I guess, like, any closing thoughts on on Mania? Uh, buy it. Discuss it for almost an hour. <laughs> buy, My yes. closing thoughts: buy it, please. Yeah, play it. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> if you like, if you at all like the classic Sonic games, please buy this. Because the more people that buy it, the more likely we'll get a sequel. Just buy yes. it. You're gonna like it. I promise you. I haven't heard mm -hmm. one person complain about this game. The only people, like, the only thing I've ever really heard people complain about in this game is the Blue Spear stages, and that's it. <laughs> really? What about? <laughs> they, they think they're disorienting to look at, which, you oh, know, teach, I mean, teach their own. That, that's fine <laughs> if, if they don't think that, if they think that. But in terms of the core game, you're going to love it. Like, you don't even have to play the Blue Spear stages. Those are completely optional. That is very true. And plus, like, I... To add to what you said, I don't think you even have to be a fan of the classic Sonic um, games. Yeah, if you like platformers, it's it's worth trying. Yeah, you're. I, mean, I don't know. It, to me, if anyone said that they didn't like this game, I I need a fair argument as to why. Because like I can't think of any reason why anyone would not like it. <laughs> mm. You know, that's how good I thought it was. Like, you'll like it more, especially if you're a fan of the of the classic days, but even if you're not, I think you'd enjoy You would enjoy still enjoy it. it, yeah. But that was our hour-long discussion. I didn't think we'd be uh, talking about it for this long, but... Uh, now, me anyway, neither. Anyway, this is the final product. Uh, if you forgot, yes, I was drawing something. And I drew this, like, the day before Mania came out, so I've been aching for you guys to see this. Um, but yeah, I'm also doing something similar to this for Forces, and uh, Nate and I will be, hopefully, when Forces comes out, we'll be doing this again, right? Absolutely, of course. So hopefully <laughs> you'll be able to get it on release day so that you can be on my channel as well. That would be great. <laughs> yes, yes. I will I will make sure mm. <laughs> to n not... <laughs> well, it wasn't your fault that know, Amazon know, but... canceled your order. That That's so dumb. But it was also my fault. Like, I had the PS4, so, like, I easily could have gotten on, on that. By the way, yes, yeah. you if you have any modern, um, any modern gen platforms, you have no excuse. <laughs> it's on yeah. Xbox One, PS4, Switch, Switch and, and now PC. And now Steam, yes. Yeah. So you have no excuse. Get it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Buy it. <laughs> All right, but until next time, guys, stay safe and stay awesome. Thank you, Nathaniel, for joining me on on this lovely discussion. Of course. Uh, thanks for having me on. This was fun. Yeah, it definitely was, and I can't wait to do another discussion on whichever game. <laughs> I'm down. Cool, cool.
Ooh. When does Odyssey come out? October what? October 27th. <laughs> Ooh, October is going to be a crazy month, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> we should do something for that, too. I don't know. Like, if you're going to do something on your channel, I, it, we should just do something on mine <laughs> when it comes out. Are we still recording gonna... or are we done? No, we're still recording. But anyway. Um... Oh, okay. Okay. Yes. Well, um, yeah, I'm going to have, I mean, yes, I'm going to be making like a million videos on Odyssey. So. Oh, yeah. I can imagine. You're going to be so hyped for that. Mm hmm. Oh, you I better, just want to you play better make, You better make the mind blowing <laughs> video before you make the triggered video, though. <laughs> Probably not going to happen, oh. but. <laughs> it all depends uh, if Nintendo decides to send me a review copy. Hope, right. ho I really hope they do. I've, uh, cause they didn't send me a review copy for Splatoon two, so I'm oh, really, nice. I'm really scared they're not gonna send me one for Odyssey, which means Odyssey videos will be really late, and I'll feel bad about that. But <laughs> no, you, you ask them, you go to them and be like, Nintendo, please. <laughs> oh, I did. I requested a review copy for Odyssey like two months ago. Oh, good. So I mean, they better yeah, give me job. one, <laughs> please, guys. <laughs> Order two so you can send me one. <laughs> I I'm going to. I'm gonna ask for two. <laughs> oh my god, really? <laughs> I'll, okay. Hey, I would totally do it. Oh, thank you. I know you would. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, thank you so much for, for joining us, and I'm sorry that it was so long, and I hope you did stick around. But until next time, stay safe and stay awesome. This is Char i 5 signing off. See you guys.